This is Espanol and English video. Okay, today we are going to review or open uh, open the box for the spray, uh, paint sprayer. Uh, this is a airless paint sprayer. Uh, the model is 395 and this is a Chinese model. Okay, vamos a abrir hoy el modelo 395 de una máquina para pintar. Eh, este es el modelo eh, 395, que es una réplica del modelo eh, Greco de, de los Estados Unidos. And this is a replica model of the 390 or 395 Greco uh, model. So we are going to open the box. So this is an unboxing video and the first uh, um, information about how it works. Okay, so we will start opening the box and I'll show you what is inside. Okay. Open the box. So we start doing the we start doing the machine instructions. Vamos a instalar las piezas de la máquina. Okay, so this is the machine. As I say, this is a copy of the 395 model. As you know, in the United States, a lot of Spanish people paint homes and art contracts. That's why I'm making this video in Spanish and English. Como sabemos, hay mucha gente en Latinoamérica, en Estados Unidos, latinoamericanos que pintan, que hacen el negocio de la pintura. Por eso estoy haciendo el video en inglés y en español. Y este es mi micrófono. Okay. Entonces, esta es la máquina. Es una máquina china. This is a Chinese machine. And I, it works very well. In, in China, most of the people use uh, Chinese machines. They don't import many. So these machines are uh, used for a lot of paintings, you know, buildings, big, big buildings in China. So there's uh, use a lot. Um, bueno, ustedes saben que en China se pintan muchos, muchos edificios. Y bueno, estas máquinas son las que se usan acá. Y la máquina es el modelo eh, en base al 395 de Greco. Y bueno, eh, tiene las piezas normales que son uh, la manguera, la spray gun, esta es la pieza, vamos a empezar a instalar, esta es la pieza que va en la succión, también tiene, eh, also has this part to put the suction cup there, so just for that, and then we will show you here, this is the on off switch button, on on, on and off, it's protected, and this is the pressure valve, very strong, very strong, okay, this is the filter, okay, I'm going to open it, the filter, the tool so that's what I'm using this. Okay. So here you have the filter. There's two filters, so this is one and the other filter is inside the gun as everybody knows. Okay. So this is the filter. We'll close it again. 
Now we install, we need to install the, the pressure sensor, or the gauge, pressure gauge. Okay. We have the tools ready. For this one, we need a 90 millimeter tool. Okay, make sure it's straight. And then I will hold it here. Okay. And now install the pressure gauge. We have to put the pressure gauge here. Just a second. on the plant on it before we install it. So we put the plant in the cage. Remember the right. Okay, put enough the plant. If you have any questions, si tienen alguna pregunta, me avisen. Después voy a poner un link de donde pueden pedir este tipo de marca. Aunque este no es un video promocional de la marca, voy a poner también o del producto. Voy a poner después un link para que puedan comprar la máquina si les interesa. Ok, put the gauge. Ok, this is a 14 mm. Put it to the front of the machine. Ok, now we are going to install the suction pipe. I'm going to lift it up a little bit. You need to remove the protective cap. Okay, it has some oil on it. Okay, it has two rings and then one uh, Teflon seal. This is the seal also, this is the Teflon also. This is the rubber and this is Teflon. The white one is the one, okay? It's aluminum. Uh, make sure the thing inside. Has a teflon seal inside also. Just push it in, very easy. And then, already, very easy to Okay? Position, ready to position. I will just hide it with the hand, it's enough. And I need to install uh, this part. Okay, this one little hose missing. This is a hose missing for here, and it's not in the box. So it's one little problem here, but I will just use another hose. Um, I originally, when I bought it, the hose was here, but now it seems we didn't put it back into the box. Okay, so it's another hose that goes here. That is the return. Okay, and then now, uh, this is the filter for the gun that goes inside here. Uh, most of the people, I think, know how to install. The gun is also... Um, Okay, install. Oh, let's see if I can open the. Okay. Uh 
आभार श्री सर सर दिस इज इंस्टॉल हियर दिस वन डोंट नीड द फ्लोन इंस्टॉल लाइक दिस एंड इट्स आल्सो द 14 दिस इज 19 एमएम ओके जस्ट यूज इनफ फोर्स नॉट टू मच ओके नाउ टू इंस्टॉल द फ्यूजर फ्यूजर इज इन द कैन ओके Why they have no filter in China is because the people complain that the machines are not good. Also, this one already has the filter, so it's good already. Okay, it already has the filter. But I'm going to put this one, which is a little bit better. Okay, and ready to go. Okay. It seems it's not the correct way. It is correct. It's not the correct one. So I need to go and solve the old one. Okay. So this is a little problem with the Chinese uh, equipment. Sometimes the parts are correct, sometimes it's not correct. So I need to be careful with that. Okay. So make it tight again. It's still 19 mm. Okay. Tight enough. Okay, now it is time to install this part, and then this I will do it later because this is a flexible gun, right? So this is 19 mm. I cannot make it tight. I need another 19 mm, so I will do it later. So we will do a little test. Also, it brings. It has the oil. This oil is silicon-based oil, and then you need to put the oil from this part here before every time you want to start the machine. Make sure you put the oil. Uh, the original models also you need to install. Uh, put the silicon oil on it because it's important for the pump. Then you need to use the tip. I have two tips here. One is uh, around. 50 cm wide paint spray area, and then this one is around 30 degree angle. So it's two tips here. Okay, we start with this one first because it's easy to open. Okay, and the installation process is uh, normal like the other products. So you need to install this part first. Okay. This part will go inside here. And put it from this side. Now you need to put it from this side. Okay. You need to get it from this side. Make sure the angle is correct. You can do this first, and then just put this part here. Okay, so the the angle is already correct. So put the the tip first, okay, and then just put component. This uh, video is uh, is only to show you some basic stuff. I'm not a professional painter. I used to be many 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 years ago. I used to paint when I was a student at the university, but I haven't done it for many, many years. So this is my first time. I'm opening this part, I'm using this part in a very long time. Uh, so some things I'm doing probably not correct, maybe very probably not correct. 
but um, this video is you know, for information purposes, so you can have a better idea of a Chinese uh, product if you are interested. If not, well, you just buy the original. So it's much cheaper than the original. For sure, 100% is not the same quality. But if you uh, want to save some money, you can you know, save some money. So this is the assembly of the of the basic parts. Remember, I'm missing on holes here. Uh, the product was in the holes, in the box, but I forgot it uh, where I bought it. I bought it. I checked it. Um, also, you have this part. This is an extension for free, or it's included. Say for free. It's also included, and also do the same job. You know, and then it just goes 50, around 50 cm long. Esta pieza la hace más o menos 50 centímetros más larga y es útil para trabajos un poquito más complicados de hacer y alcanzar. Y bueno, este es el video de la máquina. Voy a encenderla para que la escuchen un poco. I'm going to show you how the machine works. For now, just show you the basic things. Um, how to sample, sample, how to turn on. This, uh, where are the different parts and how the machine looks? It looks very strong. This is plastic, plastic, plastic. This plastic. But the rest of the machine, this is aluminum. It's stainless steel. This should be one type of uh, uh, alloy, aluminum alloy or something. But the rest of the machine looks uh, very strong. And the main part, which is the pump, is stainless steel. Okay? So it should last some time. Uh, we use it for very small paints. But for the price, I think that we use it is nothing for many years. OK, so. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. This video went too long. I hope you like it.